Here we are at expired beer day. The first beer it's expired beer day. It's the time of the year when you need to clean out that basement and all that beer you've stowed up all year and look for those expired beer because usually you only have four to six months before the really bad tastes go in. So Dieter and Hannah have, the other two beer idiots, have cleaned out their basement where they had all this beer and here we found seven expired beers. And we're gonna start with the first one, Hannah. So, Which one uh, is that and how expired is it? So the first one is uh, the Ronco Blonde. Uh, it's a Belgian Blonde uh, from the brewery Freestad van Mol. And how old is it? How expired is uh, it? So the, the Ronco uh, it's actually expired in August 20, 2019. It's not a bit like corn now. Yeah. Because some of the tastes you can taste, the fla- maybe it's gone down in flavor. Uh, the higher the alcohol, the more probably better Freakish. keeping it is. is. Does it taste a bit oxidized or flat? Because that's no. what normally happens. Gets sweet. flattish. A bit sweetish. It's sweet, Got yeah. bit sweetish. But is that the normal taste Run of the beer? Double. I think it's in the normal. style, correct. Yeah, it's a traditional Belgian beer in a way, right? Yeah, it's a Belgian blonde, so... That makes sense. Mm-hmm. Bit malty? Cut. Yeah. Yep. It's still drinkable, I think. You oh, it gets probably. a bit dry at the end, but like... I'd say it's a bit flattish. It doesn't... Yeah. Yeah. It's a blonde. It's the, supposed it's to be refreshing and... Mm-hmm. But what percentage yeah. of alcohol does this? Yeah, 6.5%. 6.5%. Consensus. Vote. Next one. Next. Next. No. <laughs> Here, what do we have up next, Hannah? So the next one is a uh, heren beer. So in English, uh, man beer. <laughs> it's from uh, it's a Belgian strong dark ale from a uh, brewery uh, Bullets. Yeah. And how expired is it? How expired is this beer? So this is actually expired in uh, 2019 as well uh, in September. Ooh. That's. Nice. Hmm, that's a long time over. But some of these beers, you know, people Sweet, do yeah. keep beers for a long time. It's, you know, yeah, burses and all that you can keep for 20, 30 mm-hmm. years and it's a different taste. Although I like fresh, fresh beers. It's when you still have the, the fruitiness in it. Yeah. yeah. I guess it depends Intense on taste. the occasion. Huh? Mm-hmm. Intense taste. But it's almost yeah. like a Christmas beer in yeah. a sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. totally, yeah, totally. Yeah. totally. Yeah. It, it's sweet though, but it got those herbs in it, like. But not too overpowering herbs. Yeah. That you have like. Uh, it's a kind of a lighter Christmas beer, or mm-hmm. it's not a Christmas beer, of course, but it's kind of a oh. lighter brown ale. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In the taste, maybe the taste is diminished a bit, but it's still pleasant in the sense it's not overpowering. Yeah, true. Good cooking beer too. Mm-hmm. Carbonade. Yeah. Totally convinced. Yeah, but also again the the maltiness. Mhm. Mhm. Yeah, no. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Something's happening I'm, now. Yeah. yeah. The more I'm drinking, the more the the butter, the butter, butter, yeah. buttery. Buttery. Yeah, something bad's coming through now. That first. You're <laughs> right. Like, oh, okay. No, but the first swallow was pretty good. I maybe it dissipates. Think, yeah, but I think we we got a great uh, actually a bad expectation. A very bad expression because all those beers are expired so they, they at first they're like oh, okay this is not that bad like i thought yes true. so maybe the first sip is like mm. <laughs> a funny label yeah the label's good. it doesn't even say oh ah, yeah yeah yes small it's eight percent it's from down the label and where's that so flemish brabant i think uh-huh close to what big town or city uh, know your geography? Yeah. Come on, we're all Belgian here now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that oh you haven't oh included gosh. me yet. I, did I think uh, we're finished with this, are we? Yeah. Yes. So we've cleaned our glasses, and what's the third one? What's the expiry date on this beer, and what is it? So it's uh, Cartes. Uh, Cartes. Yeah, we didn't really find an expiring date. Yeah, it has so no expiry date. This is one of the weirder beers. Nothing here 
nothing on the label, nothing on the bottom. We've inspected it. It's one of two beers that we have no expiry date on it. It does have the little cut out hair that's supposed to show the expiry date, but that hasn't been filled in. So mm -hmm. you're supposed to punch ah, it yes, out. Yeah. Doesn't right. look that old, but okay. Yeah. But it is expired. We know that yeah. for a fact. So, Hannah, your turn to open the beer oh, and okay, pour okay. for the guys. All right. Drink your and where is, where is this uh, brewery, by the way? Where? Uh, Cartoys. Isn't this in, like, not far from Brussels? Yeah, it's, it's about a 30-45 minutes drive southwest. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Let's Cheers. see. Flowery. Flowery, still flowery. Mm -hmm. And the style is supposed to be very traditional Belgian. So blonde as well, 8%. Yeah. That is very it. flat now. Look at that. Boom. Or is it like, oh, That's yours is still going. Yeah. To mm -hmm. me, it's flat. And to me, even the first sip is off. It has consistent same like nothing oh else. yeah not even tasty no, no. flavor is nothing oh, picks that, up or no but something's like, starting to burn my time again you drink it? at the end like oh, i always say it's, it tastes like plastic if if you like tear plastic from like a package yeah. you smell it and yeah you often like that's a bit <laughs> old yeah oh my god that's like right i don't think this is drinkable to tell you the truth in terms of our uh, mm. no, high like, standards like some Actually, yeah. we don't, you know, I, I love a Stella. So. The smell of it also yeah. consists of always the same, like, there's nothing... I oh, know, it's got a bad taste on the mouth. This is definitely Especially off. at the end, when yeah, it goes yeah. like from the back to the Oh, front. no, no, no. So guys, so right. <laughs> this is definitely gone, yeah. I would say. So we throw it so out. We got to this, this one. <laughs> the last beer really showed what happens to the beer you treasured, and it's destroyed by age. The fourth beer we're going to try today is from an area close to Brussels, just a West, little west. Midwest, yeah. Well, how's it pronounced? I say delicate. Delica. 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 So the name is referring uh, to Delbeek, so the city where this beer is uh, brewed. And yeah. how old is it? Uh, Delica is, has no... Expired? It has no expiry. Name this is the second one. There's no expiry. I've searched all over the cap, everything. <laughs> Ooh. So guys. <laughs> oh, look at all the foam on this one. Jeez. Still lively. Foaming yeah. like oh, Yours foaming. Is yeah, that's mm -hmm. probably it was Mine's a, more. Yeah. Maybe it's the glass, see yeah, I probably. think. Yeah. Okay. Smells I okay. See. A bit weakish. I think it's a Belgian pale ale. And it's oh, only yes, five point one percent. It's a Belgian huh? pale ale. Okay. <laughs> Five point one cents. Refreshing yeah, at the still, end. Refreshing yeah. at the end. Yeah. Really? So it's still got some liveliness in it. it hasn't yeah. been defeated I'm by age. It hasn't been battened down and. You got some metal in it. Yeah. So yeah, that's one of the off tastes that can be in a beer. Right. Yeah. Blood metal, kind of. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, you can't really. It's flavorless to me. Mm. Maybe the last beer destroyed my taste buds. Well, it wasn't yeah, the beer <laughs> itself, it's the age, sorry. Nothing to say, we have nothing against any of these breweries. It's age that's the problem here. Uh, in some cases, we're surprised that how long a beer will last after its expiry date. This one is sort of yeah. in between. <clears throat> after the first fresh taste, it's masking something mm -hmm. that's crept in there. Yeah. Would you notice that this was expired? No. What would you say? It was just a beer you wouldn't taste again, or something. It depends. Maybe if it's freshly from the bottle, the barrel is like all right. It's a hot summer day. It's a cold, fresh beer. Then totally. Then I think I would drink this again. I mean, there's some wonderful places that sell expired beer, but they only sell certain expired beer where they know it can still taste good. Like we know some friends who want to stop and really. You know, people go after the expert because they know he thinks that that beer will still be good, especially the stouts. And mm -hmm. I've always yeah. found that yeah. way with him. You know, you can trust his little bin of expired beer. It's not that he's just selling you bad beer, which would be bad for the brewery, bad for his reputation. 
but he's mm. pretty confident and he tells you, you know, it might have changed a bit here, but I think this will still have a nice taste for you for the kind of price you're paying for it, but it'll be, you know. But reduction wise, I think you don't get so much reduction on stouts in the no. beginning when they're when they're over date. Yeah, um, I I got one IPAs um, and that was like yeah fifty percent off or for twenty percent and you buy them. But even if they're sometimes a month or a couple of months over that yeah, date, I don't mind that. totally mm-hmm. bad. Eh? Totally bad. No taste really? at all. To- no taste at all anymore. Mm. So the consensus on this one still drinkable. Says Dieter. Well, funny, but not Hannah is skeptical. Not to finish, <laughs> no, not, not to finish your, your glass. Okay, off. two to one. Ah. The Copern Marquis Blond. Hop. <laughs> what is the when? date, by the, the date? way? It's uh, August 11th, 2020. So for from this year. So it's not that long. Expired. But let's see. Uh, you know. You guys. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa! Oh shit! Whoa. That's <laughs> we we <laughs> have to go. Oh what? Maybe I will or will not be glad I got the smallest portion. Uh, <laughs> so good. <sighs> oh, that. Uh, it's gone. It's still good, at least in smell. What is it that I smell? Flowers, like multi, flowery. To me, this is still good. You know, mm. whether you like the beer or not, it's sweet, flowery. Mm. Yeah, yeah, very, very traditional Belgian. It's not coriander that they. Yeah, is maybe they skip the coriander. You think? No, no, no. So not softer, totally right? traditional. No, no. Softer. Do they say anything? A it's lot got a of nice spi- label. The smell is also a lot of spices. And Amit, what is your? Uh, your final thought on this one? Well, I think this is still a very drinkable beer. Two or three months haven't passed the yeah. expiry date. Hasn't so, done much, you know, harm to it. To me, expired. if I didn't know what the original taste is, I could still drink this. Oh. And uh, it's a nice winter beer for sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know? Now we can cut again, so. All right. Oh. Oh, my stomach. We forgot to say the percentage on that. Well, no, we did, I think. Did we? I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> uh, eight. Well, it's a blonde. I got eight. Maybe it's blonde. a blonde. Eight. Good. <laughs> Sixth expired beer. And it's from the same place as this one, which we was about three months uh, yeah. expired. And yeah. this one, what type of beer? Can you describe this one, it? It's a, it's a triple. And it's expired in, what was it? It's written on the back April, April. In, by handwriting. April this year. April this year. Yes. So this is a nine percent beer, and you can open it. Probably you were like in the you military. can clearly see here, <laughs> the like Marquise. the old the old the gentleman, the Marquis. Yeah. So it's supposed the, to be a noble beer. The let's, captain. Uh, shall I crack it open and of let's course, see if course. it's any good? It states this Marquis. Oh, and hey. it's oh that's a lot. Take something. So after that horrible <laughs> accident, an amateur mistake, yeah. let's try pouring this again. There's a bit left. I poured it and it's immediately gone flat, kind of reddish. Mm-hmm. Uh, so here we go. And again, this Smells is made for, sourish. this is a nine percenter. So normally the alcohol might help keep it a bit longer. This is from April and here we go. Thoughts to me, it's kind of tasteless, but mm-hmm. and metal, metal, metal gone. Mm. You like your metal. I like my metal, yeah, <laughs> but not so much in my beer. Yeah, <laughs> zinc. Maybe that's a condition of the waterish. We are near the Belgium. Not much Brussels. Taste. No, no, <laughs> because we're near Brussels. Sweet. Well, yeah. oh, Brussels water is heavy with. Uh, True. <laughs> yeah, my hair is always. When I wash my hair here, or at my, I actually I'm from West Flanders, so in West Flanders, if I wash my hair, it's so soft, and here it's so wet. Oh yeah, that's the it's not a shampoo channel. Sweetness okay. Of the I beer. find I want to throw this immediately into the sink. sink. It's not maybe, because of the beer. Maybe, I have to emphasize uh, again, yeah. it's because of the expiry date. Yeah. It's past this time. It's no use keeping this in. So that's what I mean. You can waste a lot of time and money 
not digging out those beers from the back of your closet or thinking that they'll get a different taste or experimenting with no these beers or types of beers when you don't even get to this point drink your beers mm -hmm. or if not don't buy so many beers because you're wasting your money true yeah, right yeah. drink what you can especially for I would say blondes, yeah, the lighter triples, beers, triples. really. Especially uh, the triple, yeah. I mean, I've drunk quite a lot of expired stouts and I've found them reasonable. Yeah, I never had done one. IPAs, really. the, the ones with, that use a lot of hops. Yeah. Okay. Next one, Hannah. Is a Grunkel triple. So we started with the Grunkel blonde and then, now we're ending with the Grunkel triple. Uh, they're from, yeah, what, Western. Yeah. So I'm from uh, Brussels, uh, Flemish uh, Brabant, uh, so I pull you, pull you guys. Nice, thank you. Wow. And how so expired is it? Uh, so it's expired, it has expired in uh, July, I think it's July. Uh, yeah, July, July this year, yes. July. It's Certainly July. it dies down fast. Yeah. It does, yeah. Oh. Within, you know, a couple minutes. Which is strange because I always All think the that carbon a, triple, is gone. a triple is very good for on the long term to keep, but no. Well, high alcohol, this is a 9%er, right? Mm. Uh, is it? I had 9%. What, you doubt me? <laughs> You're an <laughs> idiot? No, <laughs> <laughs> good to check. Uh, my memory has been gone after. Well, actually, we've thrown out quite a few of these. And since it's the last one, just to remember, this is the first beer expiry day, and I must say much thanks to Dieter for sacrificing one and a half months without beer, and then decided <laughs> to drink expired beer as his first, first beer. First drink. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but drink we're going to drink a lot of beautiful ones after, right? Mm -hmm. We hope. We could wipe away the taste of some of these. This is actually, what do you think? Because mm. what we find is usually the first taste, okay, and then suddenly you start finding things mm -hmm. there that you're not, you know, that I you say. I must say, like, the taste that's like very common for these expiring expired beers, are like very malty. It's the maltiness mm. that comes through. Yeah. yeah. It's. Yeah. And I yeah. didn't find any pearls like, oh, this is still very good when it's yes. over date. Like, this yeah. is totally a good deal. I could drink no. this. No. No, it's all. I think less, less good than when you drink it. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely the thing to do. Drink those beers. Remember. And then sign up to our YouTube channel <laughs> for more fun days. Cheers. 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 Yeah. Actually, there's a lot of corn. My bucket. <laughs> ah.